We knew we could protect our we could protect our core four: North Carolina, Florida, Ohio, Iowa, and then add to that by flipping a blue state or two. And and then we knew we would protect everything else like Arizona, Georgia, Texas. I mean, how ridiculous for people to write these stories a couple of weeks ago that Hillary's going to turn Texas red. And Tim Kaine goes to Arizona the other day, gives a whole speech in Spanish, which all it did prove to me is that you could be boring in two languages. Oh, they're going to get Georgia. It's like everybody writes these stories because Team Clinton says it, and you're missing the whole point of the damn election, which is that people want to change, and they want a non-politician to effectuate it, and that never changed, that never stopped. And as I've said on your show and many others before, which absolutely was the case, Hillary Clinton just could not break past that stubborn 45, 46, 48 percent in these states that President Obama carried twice. Joe, the fact that we went to play this game on their turf was bad news for them, and I'm not sure they saw it coming. The fact that we dipped into her so-called 248 electoral vote blue wall meant that we weren't just going to sit around hoping she wouldn't get the other 22 she needed to get to 270. Um, by the way, the great thing about this job, so busy I can't read the praise or the criticism. So you just told me something I didn't know about somebody's tweet. Um, I will tell you that Donald Trump and Mike Pence won states where they didn't have the, gov the Republican governor's support, where they didn't have the, the Republican senator's support. But they did it because this was a relationship from them to the people. And yesterday, you witnessed the people's election. These are the people coming up and expressing their voice. And as an American, I couldn't be happier. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.